Nothing crazy. What's up, guys? Welcome back for another episode of God Eater Resurrection. This is going to be a little bit of a special episode because I've had a couple of people asking whether or not I can show off uh, some of the bullet creation mechanics because, you know, once upon a time ago, I said that I would do that. So, uh... Rockman and I... <laughs> Rockman and I spent, um... I don't know, what, an hour or something like that making bullets? I don't know. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, something about that, that. Something like that. So he's here with me. Boom. Okay, so, we made a, a couple interesting shots here. Okay, so, first and foremost, the way you go about creating bullets is you walk down here to this dude right here, shopkeeper, you go, buy bullets. Now, here's the important part. Okay, so depending on the type of gun you are utilizing, if you're using a sniper rifle, an assault, a blast, a shotgun, whatever, you need to make sure you buy the right template for your bullet. So if you buy a sniper bullet, but you're using an assault gun, you can modify the sniper bullet, but it will not be usable in your assault. So, for instance, if I bought this blaze bullet right here, and put it, you know, right here. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so that's equipped for some reason. Anyway, so, I buy that, and then I come over here to loadout. Alright, go down here to bullets, and this becomes available early on in the game. Um, if not, it's just available at the beginning of the game, doesn't really matter. But what you're going to do is you're going to go over to the bullet you just bought. Okay, so right now it just says normal blaze bullet, all right? So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to hit triangle on it. It's going to open up the bullet menu. So you're going to go to edit bullet, this option right here at the top. You can worry about changing the name, the icon, and all that later. So you hit edit bullet, all right? Now there's already going to be this thing right here that says B, small, you know, whatever. Those are what we call modules for creating bullets. You can just delete that. Hit square, delete it. Uh, so when you want to actually augment your bullet and put in your new things, you're going to go to new module, okay? And then you're going to choose the element and essentially the type of shot. And the type of shot basically reflects how much damage it's going to do. So say, for instance, I choose blaze, small, small. So it's extra small, basically. You will then see all these options show up. Now, this is a lot of options to look through. It's a little confusing on first glance. It's a little intimidating. I can understand. But each one of these do different things. So, straight long means it's a straight shot that travels a long distance. Whereas, straight short, you can pick up the rest here, right? It goes a short distance and point blank doesn't. Here, I'll give you a good visual demonstration. So anytime you're editing bullets and you want to actually take a look at what they do, you just look down right there at the bottom where it says options, it says preview. So you hit that, and then you can see what it does. So this one right here, it's a long bullet, so it's going to go all the way to the end of the screen, okay? But if I change this to, say, point blank, it's only going to go that far. See that? See where it ends? That's because it's a point blank bullet. Now, you can do different things with that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But I just wanted to make sure that some of these points were made where you have to buy the right template for the gun you're using. Otherwise, the thing you're trying to make is useless. So let's go ahead and cancel that, and let's delete this because it's just clutter right now. Okay, so we made a few bullets. Here are three of the bullets I made in the hour or so that we spent doing whatever. So the ones that I've made right now, I've made Big Magnum, the Hadouken, and I've made a spirit bomb. Now, these all have varying degrees of simplicity and various degrees of complexity. So, spirit bomb is a high damage shot, but it's very, very easy to make. Okay, so this is what it does. You shoot it. Hang on, let me get the target a little bit closer. You shoot it, but it takes up a lot of OP. You shoot it, it explodes into almost 1,500 damage. So, real simple, this is a two-step bullet. So if you actually look at this bullet, it's only got two steps. It's got your first module, which 90% of the time, your first module you choose will basically just be something to carry additional effects. And what I mean by that is, okay, my first shot right here is just no attribute, small shot. Uh, I think this takes up, like, no OP or something like that. It takes up very little, if any. Yeah, it takes zero OP. So it's basically just used as a transportation for the next shot, which is a divine double L bomb shot. So, yeah, you can see that right there. And then there's other ones that you can do, like I could make this a bomb shot that misses allies, but it costs 180 OP, which is above my limit of OP, so I can't even use it. But this is a very simple example of what you can do with a bullet. Um... 
Now on to a slightly more complicated bullet right here. This is my, my big magnum. So if we take a look at this one, what this one does is I'll just show, I'll show you what it does first. Okay. So you shoot it. It looks pretty small to me. Yeah. What it does is it shoots a little orb in front of me a second or so later. That orb then tracks onto the target and then hits them. So that's actually a homing shot after the initial orb shot. So if we actually take this target and move it, the shot will actually follow the target, as you can see. It takes up a lot of OP, but when it hits, it does do a decent amount of damage, almost a thousand. Uh, other things that you can implement into your actual shots are these things here called deco shots. Now, deco shots, those are basically as you would imagine, decorative shots. They don't do any damage. They cost a very limp, small amount of OP, but they add cool looking effects. So if you didn't notice it before, okay. Whenever one of these shots hits from Big Magnum, it will actually create a V of fire off of the actual target that you can see, those two radial funnels that you see. Those are deco shots. They don't do any actual damage, but they look cool. So I put them on there. <laughs> That's. That's literally all they do. They just look cool. So, I made those. Now, if you want to get into some of the more advanced things for decorative shots, as you can see, I have a shot here that's actually called Deco, because I basically decided to make a shot that doesn't necessarily do a lot of damage, but looks kind of cool to shoot it. So, let's back this thing up a little bit. And this is what this one does. As you can see... It turns into this kind of a swirling mass of color, <laughs> which just kind of launches itself at its target. As you can see, it's not doing a whole lot of damage. It's doing 254 damage. But I just made it to look cool. That's about it. This Rockman was like, hey, make a shot that just looks cool, but doesn't do any damage. I was like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> so I made that. Uh, what that looks like is... Ta-da! Okay. Hadouken. I've got... Yeah, Hadouken! I've got a uh, straight shot for point blank. Uh, aimed at 25 degrees vertically so you can actually change the degree of your actual shot and what that does is enable you to clear your shots because the problem I was having with this shot originally is whenever I would shoot it those little orbiting deco shots that you see surrounding the bullet they would actually hit the ground uh, so you wouldn't even see them so what I had to do is I had to actually elevate the trajectory of the shot so that you could see them so, yeah, that's why they look like that. That's why the bullet goes In off at an angle. Yeah. Science. In other words, science and I'm a nerd. Okay, so uh, if you take a look at these ones right here, what I did is I changed the angle of this shot so that it would aim up at 25 degrees. Then I put in a smart shot, which is actually a homing shot, which activates when this one fades. So this is set at point blank, so that's what I was saying earlier when I said that there is a difference between having long-distance shots, and short-range shots. I'm basically just using this point-blank shot to carry the decorative shots that I'm actually shooting, basically. Um, yeah, and then I put in all these uh, actual, you know, decorative shots and whatnot, and there's actually, that's not a decorative shot, that's actually a regular orbiting shot now that I'm looking at it. Whatever, doesn't matter. I could actually probably swap that out. Hang on. Let's swap this out. So small, and then I go down to here to deco shot. To there it is, orbit narrow. So this will actually cost less OP now. <laughs> yeah, now I can shoot four of them instead of three of them. Sweet, because that deco, because that orbiting shot originally wasn't even doing any damage, because it was just hitting the ground or whatever. So there it is. I can shoot four of them. They don't do a whole lot of damage, but it, at the same time, they don't do an insignificant amount of damage. Uh, but yeah, that's just three examples of some of the shots you can make if you want to spend a little bit of time learning the actual shots. Oh, and also, another thing I might want to mention on these is normally when you put up orbit shots, they actually rotate uh, horizontally instead of vertically like the way that I've got them set. What you want to do to alleviate that issue if you want them to have a vertical orbit as opposed to a horizontal orbit is you need to actually change your angle right here to either 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. So that way you're just basically rotating the actual bullet itself. So like this one, 
is rotated at plus 90 degrees. Ta-da! And so on and so forth. I also did that with these two for 45 degrees, negative and positive. But uh, yeah, if none of this really makes any sense, just mess around with it a little bit, learn it as you go, and uh, yeah. What about you, Rockman? What kind of stuff did you make? You can't really show it off, but you can talk about Nothing. it. Nothing! Nothing! Okay, we're going to go ahead and just do a real quick mission. Uh, this is the Congo that we've been destroying while practicing our actual bullet creation. I feel a little bad for him at this point. But we'll yep. go ahead and show off some of the bullets we made. Well, you made. Well, I made. Rockman kind of made some. He made, like, this cool little orbit shot, and then it just kind of, I don't know, fell apart or something. <laughs> eh. I gave up on it. Yeah. Bullet creating is not everyone's forte. Um, I spent a lot of time... I smash things! He does smash <laughs> things. So let's go ahead and use our... No. Let's use our big magnum on uh, these guys. It actually kills them in one hit, which is funny. So, big magnum! So he's dead. So as you can see, it takes up a lot of OP for this. Which is fine. Uh, but, yeah, so this is kind of a, a supplementary thing that you can use. I basically created it just so that if you're in the heat of the moment, like, you know, right now, you could just kind of shoot it and then switch back over to what you were using. And you can be rest assured knowing that it is going to hit the target. And then, you know, Spirit Bomb, you do actually have to aim it. And it takes a lot of OP, apparently. I don't have enough. <laughs> okay, I should have enough now. But yeah, this is just kind of a, you know, 1,000 damage. If you just need to hit something for a lot of damage very quickly, um, it's something that you could utilize. Especially if they're weak to Divine. I just made that because it looked cool. But uh, yeah, those are the, some of the things that you can actually do with uh, bullet crafting. And um, as you can see, they, they do a fairly good amount of damage. But uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that you guys experiment a bit more with... Uh, you know, your bullet creation, and, uh, if you guys have any... Hey, stop it. Hey, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Spear bomb! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, practice a little bit with the bullet crafting, and you guys come up with some cool ideas, you know, let me know. Um, I'm definitely interested, and if you guys have any tips, because, you know, I guarantee there are a gajillion people out there that are better at bullet creation than I am. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd be interested to know what you guys have as far as ideas and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to go ahead and share this real quick. Rockman, do you have any tips or anything you learned from bullet creating? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, as far as this episode is concerned, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But uh, I'll catch you guys pretty soon. Say goodbye, Rockman. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. All right, it wasn't a bad episode.